This is the story of struggle, poverty, isolation, barriers. This is the story of longing, despair, and fear. Basically, I was the kind of person that was uh, jumping around a lot from place to place and job to job for many, many years. And same time, housing market was tightening up, job market was changing and everything. I was finding it harder and harder to find work. So I started going cycling through homelessness and everything. Literally, you don't have your own space. You're constantly in public. It's, it's really a constant uh, survival mode you're in when you're homeless. I was very upset. Actually, I cried when I came home because and I came here, I even cannot uh, communicate. Uh, this neighborhood was very isolated. Actually, it's just an isolated uh, a community. It's not, for me, it's not a neighborhood. I didn't know where should I go, so most of the time I stand behind the window, I just look out. I got kicked out of my parents' house for drugs and, and skipping school and stuff like that. And then I kind of lived on my own for a bit, and then things went bad, and then I begged my parents to go home. And the condition my parents gave me is you have to finish high school. And I finished high school, started college, ended up dropping out of college due to drugs again. And uh, so my parents gave me out for the final time. This is a story familiar to all of us, but it is also a story of connection, of hope, of opportunity, of finding community and making a difference. All these kids have their own stories. They all have their, you know, challenges. They're definitely classified as at risk for various reasons. It could be because of their life circumstances, because of uh, traumatic experiences. So they're the kids who are more prone to fall through the cracks. But I definitely see progress in the kids who have been here from the beginning. I definitely see change. I see more self-esteem. And you can see it in the way they carry themselves in and out of the classroom, the way they greet you, and the enthusiasm they have and energy they have when they walk through the doors. It is a tale about the change taking place in individuals and neighborhoods. I'm ready to start my life. I need to make a full change. So found out about this great program called the Phoenix Print Shop and Evis Phoenix Housing Program. I've completed now the housing program and the Phoenix Print Shop program, and I've had my own apartment since I left, so that's proof that that program does work. So you can take that back to the agencies and the programs that United Way helps. And making these programs happen gives a purpose to a bunch of different people, and given purpose in life is, well, it's life. Last, I think it was last year, my parents actually told me they were proud of me, and that pretty much changed everything. It is the story of rising to help one another, getting involved, tackling social issues, and inspiring others to do the same. I'm a person that believes in the rights of people living in poverty. It is something that could happen to any one of us, but everybody's got their own package of reasons. And if we really want to end homelessness, we've got to have programs to recognize that and help people to deal with that. And that's the kind of stuff that gets supported by United Way. It's that kind of thing. It provides a lot of help for people on different levels. This is the story of coming together, united in removing barriers and creating opportunities, united in creating a place to call home and a better life for everyone. The purpose for this program is to make more fun for, for those isolated women. And they're not just here for food. They come here to have fun, to chat, to exchange information. This funding from United Way comes to this neighborhood and it can make change to some people's life, like my life, my friend's life, my neighbor's life. This is the story of many, like the community leader, who created a space to bring her neighbors out of isolation. The advocate, whose wisdom and experience helps to affect real change in his community. The printer, who discovered a new passion and a new life. And the tutor, programs that United Way supports are definitely not band-aid solutions. And it's very important for people to recognize that this, these programs, even though they seem like these abstract things when they donate to United Way, that they're actually affecting people on a very human level. This is the story written by the pen of over a million authors. Will you help us write the next chapter? <laughs>